have always insisted with their doctrine of original sin, then that may allow you to understand the situation of your father better. That's the first thing, is that you have to learn something about evil, and you have to learn something about how it possesses people. And you have to learn something about how it possesses ordinary people. And that will mean you'll have to learn something about how it might possess you. And that's rough learning, so you've got rough learning to do. And then the next thing I would say is, look, it was a long time ago. Um, and what's your father been like for you? You know, like, maybe he's changed. You know, people can repent and and rejoin the world. That, the Christian idea, which is a remarkable one, is that no sin that you can commit that's so terrible that you can't be redeemed. Now, people laugh at that idea because they think, well, that means that you can, they think cynically, that that means that you can be the worst and the most impulsive sinner possible throughout your entire life, and then conveniently, in the moments before death, repent and, you know, enter the everlasting kingdom of God. And unfortunately, it's not that simple to repent and to be redeemed is to truly understand what you did to allow the parts of yourself that did that to wither away, or die, or burn away, which I think is a better metaphor, because there's plenty of pain involved. To chart a new course and to swear by everything that's holy that you're going to stay on it. And maybe your dad did that. And so, in which case, your job is to find out how, even now, knowing something about the evil that can possess people, and even people that you love, even yourself, you'll have to find it within you to forgive if you determine that this man, with all the hidden complexity that you've now discovered, is someone you love. And so, good luck, because that's a, that's a tough road you've got to walk there. So. But like I said, I would say, read Ordinary Men. That'll teach you something that...